There, you're hey, welcome to the Kevin Stoda channel. And I've got great news. Uh, this is my wife, Vic, and I's uh, 12th wedding anniversary. Um, we just celebrated with a big uh, barbecue meal of a Kansas City style. Uh, it was a taste of Kansas City from Jack Stacks. Include pulled uh, pork and and ribs and and uh, uh, chicken and uh, uh, wonderful beef slices. And it uh, was uh, uh, all smoked and done through and through. Um, we're looking forward to hearing what you're up to, but uh, I will tell you that Vic and I got married uh, in a church wedding on on in Kuwait on May, March 8th, 2009. So that would be 12 years ago today. It's also International Women's Day. That's why I seldom forget it. Um, and we had our civil ceremony over two months earlier. Uh, our daughter was with us tonight as we ate our meal. And we hope that uh, others like you uh, can enjoy us sharing about that tonight. Hey, Joel, makahiya. Hello, hello. Joel is there. Hi, Joel. Welcome, Joel. Kamusta, Joel? How you doing, Joel? I did not set the monetization. How will I do this? Hmm. I don't know. Do you have to end broadcast and do it again? No. What you... Kamusta, Joel? Kamusta, ka? Joel, uh, thanks for joining me here on YouTube and what we're up to uh, celebrating Vic and I's anniversary. And I hope that uh, you are a lucky guy too. Joel, ilan pa ba ang kailangan? Ilan pa? Ilan na ang WH mo? Okay. There we are. Kakagising lang. Oi, good morning. Mm -hmm. Thumbs up naman, John. I have to set the We hope that uh, you're having a good evening. I could tell stories about our getting married. Uh, would anybody like to hear those? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Keep talking even about even only Jewel there. Okay. Um God put us in a train strange and long trajectory to meet one another and it took uh, us traveling to many countries to meet <laughs> my wife's from the philippines as you know and she worked in several countries in the middle east and i did too but before that i'd also worked in in europe and eastern asia and even central america as well as the united states before uh we met in kuwait and the very end of 2005, I think it was, um, there was a church that I was attending in Kuwait. And at the time, uh, I'd been there since late 2000, was it 2003 or 2004? Early yeah. 2004. I'd gone Just there skipped from the United States. And... Uh, but uh, Vic was already in country. I was attending a church there. And in 2005, my church and her church got married. <laughs> Let me explain. Uh, it, it was the International Church of Christ of Kuwait, Kuwait International Church of Christ that I was attending. And uh, 
an offspring of the Metro, Metro Manila Church of Christ was founded in, uh, in Kuwait at the same, at, not at the same time, but in 2004. And the leader who'd organized that from the Philippines had uh, reached out to people back home asking what to do before he would return to see that the church continued. And uh, what he found was that there was another church, namely the Quake international church of christ which we uh i was a part of our church uh the quaid international church of christ was made up of a mixture of indian uh americans uh filipinos and uh maybe a few other countries and the church from metro Milano was all filipinos we met together around thanksgiving of 2005 got to know each other over dinner and decided yeah we can get married we'll, we'll create a church of double size and we'll uh, go ahead and move on from there uh, Vic my wife was amongst them and she was baptized as the first fruits of that church in January of 2006 um, we were uh not married right away <laughs> we didn't hardly know each other but we uh uh i lived another few years in kuwait and in 2008 uh i asked uh Vic if she'd like to start a new life and uh and at the end of 2009 on the very last i mean 2008 very last day of the year we had our civil ceremony in downtown kuwait uh do you know the story about that <laughs> the civil ceremony all right the day of the ceremony december 31st uh 2008 i drove from my house to pick up my bride to be and take her to the um city office in downtown kuwait city at where we would be met by two friends of ours from church, uh, Vince and Pradeep. As things would happen, I got to where I knew about where Vic was staying because she'd stayed to get her hair done and stuff at her friend's house, and her friend was a beautician. So I kind of knew where it was. I knew where the beauty salon was, and so I went there, but uh, nobody was answering <laughs> so I I was scared because I'd realized when I arrived that I didn't have my phone yes this is 2008 and I had forgot my cell phone so I mean a few years earlier that wouldn't have mattered but everybody had cell phones by that time so I had to drive a good uh, 15 miles back to where I live and grab my phone call the, uh, everybody and it turns out they were inside uh, the beauty salon, but it had been locked up because it was so early in the morning that they hadn't yet opened to the public and they couldn't hear my knock. So um, we did uh, then drive with two bridesmaids, <laughs> uh, friends of Vic's and uh, the beautician, and uh, we met um, Vince and and Pradeep at the um, civil office to my surprise when we got there uh we were married by a woman i hadn't thought about that here in the middle east in kuwait uh a woman uh was the civil authority who gave the uh marriage questions and we took our vows and uh signed the paperwork so it was quick and easy and and then vic and i went out for a quick lunch before i sent her back to her work she had to work that day and i was happy to take part the last day of uh december 31st 2008 i'm kind of tired right now i had a long day at school what about you what have you been up to uh, i'm trying to crawl over and see what people say there's Joel again, virtual hug, virtual hug, virtual hug. 
Thank you. <laughs> All right. I'm glad to see you there, Joel. Maybe I do. <laughs> so, um, and then uh, on January 1st, I was uh, already planning to go. Uh, I guess it was January 2nd. I was already planning to go to another country and start a new life. So um, I got up the next morning and went to Germany. Um, I, I was trying to make a, a path for my wife to join me in Germany. I got a good offer for a job. I'd lived in Germany before for four years or more, and I, I felt like, yeah, we could start a new life in Germany together. And so uh, I arrived there on January 1st, January 2nd, 2009, so the day after the 2008, and uh, started my job teaching and uh, returned for a wedding on March 8th, 2000. And nine, as I said before, in Kuwait. This time the church did had so much help. It gave us so much help in organizing the wedding. It was very fascinating. And uh, I think they said they'll never do it again. <laughs> uh, it was a lot of work um, for them. But for me, it was rather easy. I, I showed up the uh, day before the wedding and, and uh, went and got my beard colored a different color <laughs> and things like that. And... Uh, we went to the center uh, that night where the wedding was held. We couldn't hold it in our church because no room was big enough in the building that we were using at the time. So uh, we were able to celebrate with our friends. And I want to thank you uh, for listening so far. But not everybody gets to do this. Uh, get married twice in a four months, once in a civil ceremony, and then again in a church wedding. It was rather nice. Uh, but I, to make a long story short, uh, I could not get for my wife a visa to go to G Germany for that whole year. <laughs> and I flew back and forth with Vic uh, to see Vic. And uh, eventually Vic had to leave uh, Kuwait and go back to the Philippines. I was still in Germany trying to find a way to get my wife there. Um, Along the way, I took time to do interesting things like uh, write some blogs about my situation, uh, kind of to irritate the uh, people who were blocking uh, my wife and I for coming. I figured it was kind of just a racist thing because, you know, we had gotten married so close to my arrival in Germany. I th thought that was the problem. But it turns out by the end of the year, I realized what the real problem was. The real problem was my company that I was hired to work was uh, liquidating, and they hadn't told me. I don't know how long the government knew that these people might be liquidating, but that was the reason. I believe they didn't give my wife a visa um, because they were going to expect me to go elsewhere <laughs> at the end of the year. And so um, I was told about the liquidation the last week in August, and I'm, and uh, I was worried about it and uh, asked for permission to look for other work at that time. But I continued to work for them while I was looking for other work. And then early September, I got an email from Vic, and I contacted her. I think it was on, maybe it was Yahoo Messenger. Uh, could have been by phone. Could have been by uh, email. I just really don't remember right now uh, what combination of, uh, of information came to me. But by mid-September, uh, it was clear Vic was pregnant. And uh, from my last visit with her in the Philippines in August, and so early August, so uh, our daughter would be born several months later, of course, nine months later in uh, May of 2010. Um, to make a long story short there, um, the company liquidated at the end of December, and then it had promised me work in the new year, but it had refused to pay me my entire salary before doing so, the promised salary. And so I had to uh, take them to court 
in Germany. And it was interesting that the German courts would protect the foreigner, but they want to protect everybody. And I thought that was a very fair handed situation and a full, I think, uh, almost